And my mama said addiction runs like a kudzu vine in my family tree That preacher said it'll be my death, but I can't quit you for the life of me When you walk in ten out of ten, times out of ten, I'm a hell of a mess I wanna taste your cooking, I know I shouldn't, but girl, I must confess Like a tall sip of Jack and Coke, sweet child of mine Well guys, we've checked the first half of our line. Nothing until this guy. I saw red down there getting taken care of. Well guys, second can of the day. Nice yoke. Pretty good fur on him. Get him taken care of. Well guys, first Ricky of the morning. Really nice one. Uh, again, that pond location. Uh, timber to timber. Can take care of. Well, guys, second Ricky of the morning. Uh, timber going the corn. Corn's right there. Go from two. It's pretty nice. Um, he's blind one eye, but we got him taken care of. Well, guys, third Ricky of the morning. We got another one. Pretty decent one. Um, we got an old abandoned house here. Raccoons are living in. Um, coming right outside of it. Very nice one. Get him taken care of. Well, guys, second possum of the morning. Uh, another one in DP. We're gonna let this guy go and get on the road. Well, guys, fourth rookie of the day. Massive one in the snare, but second one in the snare of the year. Uh, get him taken care of. Well, guys, second year of the morning. Choked himself out. Get him taken care of. Real pretty one. Alrighty, guys, so. We're setting a muskrat drowner here. So, see where they've been climbing up right here. They've been digging for roots. So, about the only sign I've seen through here, which kind of worries me a little bit. But, we're going to see if we can catch a few. Said an amazing crick line yesterday, had nothing in it today. It's kind of sad about that, but oh, put it aside. We'll, we'll probably have a couple there to, tomorrow, hopefully. So, um, uh, gloves on that Mark June Trendy lure. I've caught three on it now, so that is my favorite muskrat lure at the moment. So we're gonna stick this to the ground, like right there. Like that. And then we're going to make a little spot right here. It's that way. I know exactly where to come up. We're gonna set it right down in there. Do it with gloves on, but I like getting things with gloves off, so. We got Mark June's Frenzy Lure, like I said. It's on the description, said great for feed beds and stuff like that. I've been just, this is all I've been doing. Um, where's a stick? All I, I have been doing with catching muskrats here is I'll just take this, dab a little stick into there, and then just stick it right in the bank, even with my pan. And that's been catching them, so I'll see you guys at the next set. Alrighty, guys, so this is gonna be a corn set. So. Push this bank, make a nice little spot so that they don't come up over this and ruin it. So, we are going to actually stick this right here in the bank, like that. We are going to take a trap, set it real quick. Using a one and a half double jaw, uh, Duke, Duke one and a half double jaw on um, my favorite trap of all time 
you guys want to try for your favorite trap. Water trap, excuse me. They will bite you though. I've had a couple of them do that to me already this year and it does not feel good at all. So I actually still have a mark from it. So now I'm just going to anchor this in right by here. It's real muddy right there so I'm not going to go. That's okay. Got that stuck in there good. Yep. We're just going to set it. Some mud over here. Just going to set that right there. Going to put some frenzy lure on this one again. I'm in love with this frenzy lure, guys. I mean, it works like a charm. But, find another stick. Just gonna dab a little bit in there. We're just gonna stick it right behind the corn. The corn is the eye appeal. The scent will be right behind it. And there you go, that's the finished corn set right there. On the bank. See you at the next one. Alrighty guys, this is the best muskrat sign I've seen all day. A couple of mink too. You can see where their tracks are going up through here. And they're going up into there searching for roots. I'm gonna dig this bank out a little bit and throw a blind set. Same thing with this. Right here you can see where all this loose grass is. That's for muskrat. You can see them climbing up in there. I'm gonna set this and get the move on. Alrighty. So, a double jaw right here. Man, I love these double jaws. Same with these Victors, man. Great, great water traps. If you guys want water traps, I suggest those. I don't even know actually if they sell Victors anymore, which is kind of sad, but uh, yeah, so we're just gonna dig a nice little spot right here for the muskrats to climb in and out of. Dig this all back out. There's water there, all right. So, we're gonna take this, take our driver, and we are going to do it like right here. Really, really soft. Here, but I'm not worried about catching a raccoon right here, so. Uh, Yeah, that'll hold a muskrat. Alrighty. We're gonna get this one set. I don't really go too in depth on these. Um, we're just gonna place the trap right down in there and that's it. Guys, around here. Right there. Our next set is gonna be got another another blind set. Uh, this one here should be a lot easier. Um because they pretty much already made this little spot. So we're gonna dig that just a little bit more. Um we're gonna get this anchored here. Well, this one has a really long chain, so it'd be nice if I'd be able to drown a couple right here. Stick that right there. Ink up on her. Yeah, muskrat ain't pulling that out. Set this one. Like I said, though, these victors, man. Easy trap to set. Um. They are a mean trap though. Just like those double jaws. They'll get you. Alright. Set that just like that. Should have a couple rats tomorrow. 
Well guys, first catch of the morning. Rack in there. Not the target animal in this snare, but we're gonna get a reset and get down the road. Well guys, second catch of the morning. And that is what we're targeting right here. Nice, nice red. There, get him taken care of. Coming off of a random trail here, it was nice and narrow. My dad's like, you know what, let's set it. We got one here today, so. You can't really reset this one, so. Get him taken care of and get down the road. Alrighty guys, walking up here on a second Ricky of the day. Got an DP right here. Not a bad size though, we'll take him. Uh, get down the road. Alrighty guys, we got another raccoon here. This time he was in a fish stick set. My fish is still kind of there, so that's good. I'm gonna reset it and get on. Thank you, checking. Well, guys, I filmed this yesterday, the blind set. See, we got a rat here this morning, and he's a real nice one. Get him out of the trap reset and get on. Alrighty, guys, got the second muskrat of the day. Got him here in a colony. Seems like a pretty nice size one here. Right there, so. Well, guys, uh, fifth rookie of the day. Not too big of one. Somehow caught him in this snare. I don't know how, but had it at least eight to ten inches off the ground. But we got him taken care of. Well, guys, still scoreless with raccoons and 220s, but got a pretty skunk here. Gonna get him taken care of and reset it. Alrighty guys, we got ourselves our first beaver of the year. He's a little bit frozen. Caught him right underneath there. Just sliding down through there. The other one's set. I'm gonna uh, clip the snare and I'll show you the remake. Alrighty guys, for this remake. Uh, not gonna be too hard. Um, we're just gonna yank this stake real quick. You if I can get it up. There we go. First beave of the year. Stoked about it. Real, real nice one. So, come down here. Well broke, but that don't matter. We still got a tag on her, so. Alrighty. Resetting this. Um, we still have four more beaver snares, or two more beaver snares, excuse me to check so this time we're going to stick this right here stick it in the bank there as hard as I can pound it in with the hand alrighty just like that now we're going to take this Soup that down there. Man, that is the easiest way right there. Don't gotta worry about messing with them. They're just caught right there. Caught right around the neck, too. So that's good. Alrighty. Move that stick out the way a little bit. See, they blocked themselves in here, so they did not do themselves any favors whatsoever getting these in. That might be a little bit too high for an old beef. Alright. Right there. Bring that down here. Just like that. Now, put this little stick up like that. That's good enough to get another 